welcome back to Caitlin's Art Galaxy. I'm Caitlin, and today I'll be showing you how to draw a mermaid that looks like this, step by step. So the first step is to take a marker or a pencil or anything that you would like to draw with and draw a U shape just like that. And then instead of it being even, we're going to leave it like that. Then we're gonna draw an S line, just like that. And then we're going to connect that line, make another one, and end with a C shape, connecting to the face, just like that. Now for the flower on her hair, we're gonna draw a little circle right above that point. And then you can draw your petals any way you want. I'm drawing mine like raindrops. Then after that, we're going to draw some lines in the petals for detail. And then, after that, we're going to draw her first strand of hair. So for that, we're going to go with the flower and then make a line down, connecting to that little S line that we made, just like that. And then you can draw another little line, just like that. Perfect. You can draw as many little lines as you want. And then we're going to take, we're going to go in the middle of that C. We're going to go up, connect into the flower, just like that. You can add some lines in the hair if you want to. You can add as many as you want. There. Now, we're going to draw her eyes, her nose, and her mouth. So first, we're going to do the eyes. So for the eyes, we need to draw two circles right next to each other, about right there in the face. Just like that. Try to make them as even as you can. And then we're going to draw an even smaller circle inside of the bigger circles, just like that. And now we're going to draw some even smaller circles in the big circles, just like that. Now we're going to color in the bigger circles. Make sure not to color in the littler circles that you made. Now we're going to draw a little tiny U shape right under the eyes for her nose. And then we're going to draw some small lips. So for the lips, we're going to draw a line that goes like that. And then do the same thing for the other side of her lips. There. Now we're going to make a narrow U shape just like that. Then we're going to connect the lines, just like that. And then we're going to draw her neck and her arms. So for the neck, we're going to do the, we're going to draw a line down, and then we're going to go out like that, and then we're going to go back down like that. And then do the same thing for the other side. After that, we're going to draw some leaf shakes, shapes connecting for her top. So we're going to draw a rainbow shape like that and then a U shape connecting like that. Then we're going to do the same thing for the other side. Just like that. Now we're going to draw some detail inside of her top. So for that, we're going to draw two lines coming in like that. 
And then right here, about right there at her top, we're going to draw a line going down. And then we're going to do the same thing for the other side. Then we're going to do a dot right there in the middle for her belly. And then we're going to draw an oval shape like that, just right there. Just like that. And then we're going to make a line going down, like a curve line, right there. Then we're going to go right here, and then make another line going down, connecting to that. Just like that. Now we're going to draw her hands. So for the hands, we're going to draw a backwards C shape, just like that, on both sides of her hands, just like that. Then we're going to draw an even smaller one connecting to that oval shape, just like that. And that's how you draw her hands. Now we're going to draw her fin. So for the fin, we're going to draw a little S line like how we did before on both sides. And we're going to connect it in to that little point at her tail. Just like that. Now we're going to draw some detail in the fin and the tail. So you can draw any type of details that you want. <clears throat> I'm drawing some wavy lines in the tail and some lines in the fin. Now to finish it off, we're going to finish her hair. So we're going to draw another long line, just like that, going in. And then we're going to do the same thing, overlapping. And then you can keep doing that until you think that it's enough. There. Now for the final touch, we're going to draw some lines if you want to. You don't have to draw that many. Perfect. Now I hope that you are finished. Um, now I hope that you enjoyed drawing your mermaids and I hope that you like and subscribe to my channel and I hope you have a fun time coloring in your mermaid.